Let's start drawing the orthographic projection of the base bracket. We're going to start with object lines. Currently, we have everything drawn as construction lines. So we are going to take advantage of our layers, select our features, and switch them to the correct layer. The correct layer for these are object lines. The first thing we're going to consider doing is let's fillet the radiuses of these features you see here. There's a fillet radius of three-fourths. They're all the same. Pick fillet. First thing you need to do is change the radius. Hit the down arrow on the keyboard. Select radius. Type in the radius of the feature. Three-fourths. Hit enter. Before we start filleting these objects, hit the down arrow, pick multiple, otherwise you'll have to repeat the command four times. So we activate multiple, and now you simply pick two lines to form a fillet. The rectangle will remove the corner as you fill it. Because we're using multiple, the command stays active until you hit enter to finish the command. Here's a side note of using fillet without multiple. Fillet, hit the down arrow, set the radius. This is just an example. I'll set it at 0.5 or half an inch. I'll pick two corners and the command stops. So if I wanted to fill up these two, I would have to repeat the command to continue on with the same radius. All right, let me undo that. So the measurement we used is a radius of 3 fourths. All right, the next step. I see some circles which become holes and slots. Let's take care of that next since all of those diameters happen to be the same of one half of an inch. So pick circle, but pick circle diameter because we know the diameter of the feature. Because our object snaps are set, we're going to take advantage of the center object snap. To find the center of an arc, you need to hover over the curve to find it. You'll see this appear. So select it and then type in your diameter, one half an inch. As you can see, I'm on the wrong layer, which will remind me to switch layers. I'm using object lines. So I'll use the object line layer, and this feature, I don't have to redraw it, I just select it and switch the layers on. I have it selected at the moment, so I'll hit the escape key on my keyboard to deselect it before I continue. Circle diameter, hover over this curve, I find a center. It's already been typed in before as one half, so I don't need to type in anything, I just hit enter. Repeat that two more times. The slots. The slots have a distance apart from each other to locate the other circle of three-fourths of an inch. There's multiple ways to do that. Here's one method. Switch to the center line layer. Draw a line down from the center with ortho mode on. Ortho mode's not on at the moment, so I'll reactivate ortho mode. Type in three-fourths and enter. I'll pick the copy command. I'll pick both of these circles. I'm done selecting objects. Hit enter to go to the next step. The base point is going to refer to this center of these circles. And my second point would be right here. Now I have the features of the slot being created. Switch back to object lines pick the line command and let's finish the slot. The O snap to quadrant to quadrant and repeat the command four more times. And then you will use trim. The fastest way to use trim with a few objects on your screen is just to hit enter and remove what you don't want. And hit enter to finish. We notice that for the base, the back side, and the middle 
inclined slope you see here, the shape, all of these have a thickness of 7 sixteenths of an inch. So we can take advantage of a command to draw all those simultaneously. The command is called offset. All of these rectangles are still joined together, as you can see here as I select these objects. If we want to use offset, we need to explode the feature to break this into separate lines and arcs. So I selected these three features and I click on Explode. Now that the object is exploded, you can notice by me clicking on here, all these lines and curves are now independent of each other. They're not linked together. Here's the difference. Let me undo my Explode. Let me click Offset, set it to 7 sixteenths, and offset a feature. Like this needs to go up. See, I've offset the entire thing. That's not what I intended to do. So instead, we explode the features. Hit enter. The features are exploded. Now I can use an offset value of 7 16 And I could offset this line up, this line down, this line up, this line to the left. And the remaining two, I need to draw something first. So I hit Enter. Let's draw that remaining feature. This line here it, and this line here is a distance of 2 and 1 30 seconds from this edge. So we'll use offset of 2 and 1 30 seconds, and then an offset of 7 16. Offset 2 1 over 32. Enter. Select this line, point to the right and click. Select this line point to the right and click. Command is over, hit, end point, uh, hit enter. Repeat the command. Reset the offset distance to 7 16 Select this and cross over to the right. And do the same with this one here. Enter. Now the lines are not complete. They do need to extend or trim. So you'll use your trim commands and extend commands to do the rest of this feature. Let me demonstrate Extend first. Click Extend. Select what you want to extend to. That'll be this line here and this line here. And step one is done. Hit the Enter command. The command line says Select Object to Extend. So I'm going to now pick these lines to extend it as you see here. As I select these lines, they extend to the features I picked before. Hit Enter. Trimming. Same idea, pick trim, but since we have such few objects on here, just hit enter to select everything and trim what needs to be removed away. As you can see, I accidentally undid these trims, so I'll redo the slots. Now draw a line to finish the right side view. We've drawn all the object lines for the object.